me until that trial. And that's where y'all messed up at. A lot of people, whoever made that comment, I can't scroll back up right now. Whoever made the comment that people have based their opinions on me off of the situation of trial, you're absolutely correct. A lot of people don't know anything about me or anything about the content that I produce. They literally have a point of reference from Twitter and Instagram, and they feel like you, you're you anti-baby girl, and so this is how you move, and I don't like that about you. You're a vile person. But because there are people that have been around for years that have listened to my content, that know what we talk about, that listen to a full show, that know all the things we get into, you know that that's, that's not an accurate depiction. So at the end of the day, I think that um, that is absolutely correct. A lot of people only have that point of reference. I think, I, honestly, I think there are some people who really believe that I popped up on the internet one day and that maybe someone latched on to a viral tweet or something and that people just started listening to me and I just started saying such and such, just started talking crazy. I really believe some people think that I just popped out the blue sky one day, popping shit, and it's like, girl, all you do is talk about this. What else do you do, girl? You, you're like, I think they really do believe that I, that my sole intention is to get up and to focus on one person, and, and like it's crazy. Like some people have no idea that I tweet and go reference these tweets that I'm doing a show, and that this show is streaming on here and on YouTube and on Twitch. And in other places, and this is what we doing, like, you know, so they don't even have a full scope of what it is, but that's why they look so stupid, you know? So at the end of the day, there are a lot of people, and I've dealt with this all my life because I've always been me all my life. And I just say that to say, I've had a microphone in my hand, and I've been the person that they said, get up there and entertain us, that my whole life. So I've always had duality. I've always been Mia, that I'm affectionately known as, that she's actually really like a sweet girl. She's kind of like more quiet. She's actually like this. She's actually like that. And then I also always have been, hey, but I'm also um, Milagro, that get up and entertain and let's clown and let's have fun and da 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 The way that I feel like some people view me as less than is why I've never changed the type of show that I do. Because too often are we told that we need to change about us and we don't. There is nothing wrong with who the fuck we are, how we talk, what we do, anything. There's nothing wrong with that. And what happens is people start getting attention and they start getting brand new on the They don't talk like that no more. They don't, they don't kick it like that no more. They don't why somebody on tour team. Let me tell you something. People have been accusing me of touring. People have gone so far as to accuse me of sleeping with his father. Do you understand me? Those are the things I've had to deal with for how long now? Literally four years. They said he said there was a rumor. And see, that's it that pisses me the fuck off. There was a rumor that was derived from absolutely nothing. Oh, I'm, I'm lying. It wasn't nothing. The rumor derived from y'all thinking I wasn't good enough for Tori to ever recognize me. That's where it comes from. You convince yourself that there's no reason why him being on his level and him being associated with what he was going through, there's no reason why he should have been interested and not in a romantic way, in any manner. There's no reason why he should have been interested in me. So you must be having a sexual relationship with either him or maybe his father because y'all appear to be close or maybe just someone on the team. And that's why all this shit is happening in 2024. Because underestimating reach or who is listening or who appreciates what I do on a daily basis. Y'all heard Joe button. You can say what you want. Don't nobody listen to that shit, right? Well, I, I, he was, I guess. So, anything to discredit me at this point. Okay. Okay. 
So the other thing I was going to say is what agitates me the most outside of an outright lie are people who can't accept real bitches. You don't need to make up a rumor that I did anything when I'm very upfront about my feelings on things. You understand what I'm saying when I say that? You don't need to say, I heard a rumor that she's somebody on his team. If I tell you out my mouth, that nigga do got a brother I saw that I do think is pressure. I'm gonna fuck that nigga now. It's if I tell you that what you need to start allowing me for. <laughs> if I told you that out my mouth, didn't I? Did, didn't I tell you? No, I ain't, I ain't doing nothing with him. Y'all have asked me. I told you no. I'm, I'm not, I haven't been touched. But I want to be. <laughs> His brother is very handsome. And I, I said that on live. Literally. That is on live. I sat down. I said, y'all, this nigga got a brother. I don't know where the fuck came from. But he is so fine to me. Oh, my God. Wooty woo. Wooty woo. Didn't I say that? Anytime y'all say, I told you straight. Oh, yeah. But I tell you, he's not American. And I don't, I haven't been to Canada. <laughs> so you don't have to lie on me. You don't have to lie. That's my, all I'm saying is, you don't have to lie on me. And even if I said, damn, he handsome, everybody went home. And I went to my room alone. <laughs> so there's nothing there. But at least if you, if you won't say anything, bitch, at least just tell it straight. Yeah, I heard she said she went to phone them niggas. Say say that. You can say that. Go ahead. And if you want to take that and run with that and make that the reason why, that, do your thing. But don't lie on me like you heard. I, nigga, please. Nigga, please. You full of shit. You heard I was messing with somebody in the camp. And the somebody in the camp that there are rumors about are me and his father. These people are sick. Did the rumors are about me and his dad. A man that I see like a dad. That is old enough to be my father. That is in a father role. Hello? But okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, that implication disgusts me. And I will tell you that plainly. That implication disgusts me. And Two seconds, so I don't get emotional. <clears throat> so what I was going to say was, in life, there have been men who have not been good to me. Because of the way that my mother lived, y'all know that I was exposed to a lot of things and abused in that way, like sexually abused, like throughout my childhood. So, Sunstar, look at butterflies. <laughs> okay. Sunstar means so much to me because, in part, because that man has never in his life done anything to make me feel uncomfortable or to give me any type of energy that a man in his position should give up a woman like me, a woman that is the same age or younger or even older than some of his children. When you go through life and you have vile men do vile things to you, and you meet a person like him, 
that prays and that he doesn't do it to get on the phone. He will pray for you, with you, who is above board and absolutely a gentleman in what do you need and making sure that you're okay. And no, this is not about to happen with her. She about to be right here making sure I'm okay. That is something that you cherish and you honor. So when I say I'm disgusted, I mean that. Like, because that man is so righteous and he's been so amazing. And like I said, when you have dealt with men that are the complete opposite, that's why you honor people like him more. And men like him, or why I could never denounce black men as a whole, because he's not the only good black man that I've met in my life. So there are some bad, some bad people in the world, but there are good ones too. So any implication like that and anything that speaks to that is just disgusting to me. And my tears are because I get emotional thinking about someone who would twist that up when I can make a list of niggas that you could speak on that ain't shit. And that's it. My tears are because he's a good person and he doesn't deserve that. And because I'm a good person, but it ain't about me, but he doesn't deserve that. And his children don't deserve that I Because he's a good father. And he's a good person. So. Let me snap back into the now. And wipe my face. But any damn way. Once again. Long process. There are going to be things said and done. Um, there are going to be people trying to antagonize. It's just for me to sh about it. Can't be on the internet cutting up and uh, crashing out and doing, and doing the most, you know? So you're going to have a lot of people. You scared. You scared. Let's be very clear. Y'all have said everything up under the sun about my type of commentary. Don't ask me to say anything or come and question me if there's an issue with the way that I speak. Now, does that make sense? And what I don't like is that, and then I'm off of it. What I don't like is that everybody's so, 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 insert whatever adjective you wish, but everybody's so, so, you understand what I'm saying? You know, everybody, so listen, everybody can, everybody can, can take it. Everybody can do this. You know, everybody ain't worried about this or that, but I feel like I come through and I give you that for real. And you realize, no, that's not what they own. That's not what they own. They saying that me and my mouth, like simply the words coming out of my mouth, is causing all of this. So I was like, damn, maybe I should rap. Maybe I should rap. Follow me. You know, Nikki put out Bigfoot. And she said all kind of shit. But... Because it's in a song, right? Ain't nothing to do with it. Shit, maybe I should just go rap. Kendrick Lamar just went number one calling a nigga a pedo. And I ain't seen a nigga get charged with, with a child. Did you? He said, certified lover boy, certified pedophile. Wop, 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 wop. That's what he said, right? And that song was number one? 
And it was the talk of the town and biggest wreck, right? My community has a problem with me. But they're so happy that Young Thug is coming home after they say he terrorized Atlanta for 15 years. I'm a vile person. Okay. I'm, just, I'm trying to follow. They are at war with themselves. And you want to talk about it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am the culture's baby. And now you can't take me because you don't, you don't like what you birthed. Because it, it calls for you being honest about who you are. And they cannot look in my mirror. End of discussion. Somebody screen record that so I could put that on the mixtape. You see how I just came up with this shit? This is what I'm saying, people. That's what I'm saying. I need to just do music at this point so that I can say what I want to say. And these people can leave me alone. Somebody, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to make a beat or something. I'm going to call Metro. No, I'm not calling Metro. He's the leader. He's over there. So, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I need to be like Uncle Murder. Uncle Murder was asking questions on the yearly wrap-up. He getting too. The f Somebody said, this is why Armand says you're gloating. Because why are you still talking about this on your trip? I don't give a f what Armand said, plainly, just to let you know. Armand would have done 18 videos, sat down with NBC. and it Let me tell you how something or another. Every major news outlet in America and the UK has asked me what the f I'm eating for breakfast today. Do you understand that? Do you understand that this process is not overnight? And for the next year or so, unless something drops, we'll be back and forth so that these people will now be watching and hanging on to my every word. So if I wanted, wanted to seize an opportunity to be a in ham, I would. I would and could easily. So, babe, get it together. There are 24 hours in a day. If I want to use all 24 or one to discuss whatever I want to, I can, bitch. Is, is there an event going on right now? What time is it? So who you think you micromanaging or policing? Telling me that because you up here talking about international fucking news. Have you not seen my government name that is so clean? Milagro Elizabeth Cooper. I like that. There's a ring to it. Have you not seen my damn name all over the United States of America and the UK? The New York Post, National Enquirer. In daily news, all say that Milagro Ground. Imagine sitting up saying I'm gloating. And uh, Armand is trying to gloat off of my dealings. Armand has made more content about what's going on with my business than anyone else, nigga. N Hello? Nigga been on spaces every two minutes, making videos back to back, tweeting, and he deleted his tweet. But I went and screen recorded it. And I screen recorded this post has been deleted. No, oh, all that shit you talking about. Like, okay, then his own harassment. Girl, clock that, T. That nigga didn't even make a damn video about getting threatened. But he done made multiple videos and went on multiple spaces about me. Joe Budden is up at 8 o'clock in the morning on spaces talking about who. And you want to know something? That's how you know niggas is compromised. You gonna get your ass on an X space and stay and say I for her or that you like me. Why you ain't say that on that platform with them ads, nigga? Why you ain't do that? You see? Don't don't be trying to get no mother messages to me. I do y'all believe me when I tell you I have a gift? Exactly what you're doing. And that's not gonna work either.
there's a there's a there's an entertainer y'all swear to god i hate party b right i'm such a thorough a nigga got online dogging that hoe there's somebody in the world that didn't understand why i didn't laugh and rejoice i said no you don't do that to your wife you don't speak to the mother of your children like that you don't do her like that regardless of my thoughts and opinions about anything else when it came down to it, and you got niggas playing on her head, and people calling and, and acting fool, she said these people that came by and did what through what I said. I know you love your kids. I'm trying to get advice. Stop acting like that. That nigga will use, you have to telling that shit for years. That nigga will use that against you. Is that smart? You need to watch what you say. Still. If a big good and a big good, congratulations. We sitting up just the other day, big whip shots. I showed you the whip shot shit, what I said. I said, well, shit, people say they like it. You know, it's in the store, the nozzle stuff they said, but people seem to like it. You understand? So, they don't know nothing about that. That's the point.